Hey, what's good, broskies? Welcome back to the Broslim channel, back with another Wings of Duty video. If you guys haven't already joined our broski community yet, smash that subscribe button and leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. Join our Discord server and get connected with the bros. Well, let's just get straight into this. No need for a long intro. Uh, this channel's been growing like crazy and I really appreciate it. But anyways, a lot of people have been saying it's my fault that the LA7's OP. It's because he sucks. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, I don't... I disagree, you know, because beforehand, before the update, we had 109s and Falk Wolves literally out turning Soviet planes, and I fixed that. Y'all should be thanking me. I've actually never said y'all before, but this is our first time saying it. But anyways, um, so I'm going to show you guys how to dogfight with the LA-7, first of all, just because I know a lot of you probably suck at dogfighting with it. And the second thing I'm going to show you is how to kill the LA-7, because it's really not that hard. Now, I know what a lot of you are saying is, are you going to admit it's OP? I mean, yeah, it's it's definitely OP. This thing climbs a little way too good. I think Fanatech should revise the LA-7's climb rate. I mean, don't change its turn time, don't, whatever, just revise the climb rate. That's the only thing wrong with it, alright? So take a look at the climb rate, and hopefully that'll get fixed. Um, and everything else is pretty much fine with it. But what you guys need to know about the Falk Wolves and stuff is that they go faster on dive still. You know, you can still outrun the LA-7. It's just extremely hard, and you're not out climbing one of these anytime soon. Um, but they can definitely rework some stuff. But anyways, let's just talk about how to dogfight with the LA-7. And then stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you how to kill an LA-7 in a Falk Wolf 190 with no advantages at all. So stay tuned for that. I'm just going to include it in this video just because I don't want to post two videos on it. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and if you find this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button, and if you want more wide content, subscribe. Alright, let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first thing you need to know with the LA-7 is that this thing can climb like a beast. So you want to use your climb advantage to destroy all the enemy planes, and the one mistake I see with the LA-7, or a lot of people who fly the LA-7, is they go for turn fights, and I absolutely don't know why. This thing's not a great turner, and if you're going to try out turning German planes, there's a good chance you'll get out turned, out rolled. You might get in a scissor fight, you're going to lose. Um, but if you uh, try and B and Z like you're supposed to, then you're going to do fine. Um, one thing you should know, though, is that the German planes, they actually dive faster than you and uh, can sustain that speed for longer. So what you need to be able to do is uh, just outclimb them immediately. I don't, I don't recommend dragging them out because I don't think you'll get far enough away from them. Just immediately go back into that climb, and if they stick with you, then roll whatever, dodge. Um, but this is a good example about uh, how you maintain your energy. And, you know, he's not able to keep up with that. I'm... Pretty well aware of that, so I'm going to go ahead and dive back into him now. This is a classic B and Z maneuver. Um, if you need help with B and Z, you can just see what I'm doing here. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do what's called a hammerhead, where you just pull back into him, and I'm going to go ahead and take his wing tip off. And the reason he wasn't able to hit me there is because I know that he's going to be stalling when he's coming up in that climb, and because he's stalling, he's not going to be able to land very accurate shots, and uh, in fact, he wasn't even able to get his guns on me. So, there went his wing tip. And now I'm about to go on a huge rampage here. You know, I see all these German planes. I know I'm untouchable as long as I keep my energy up. Um, but all good things must come to an end, but uh, before we get to there, I'm going to go ahead and take out the rest of these planes. So we've got a 109 in front of us. He's not aware of me right now, so I figured I'm going to go for him instead of the other guy on the deck. Uh, and plus, he's taking out one of my comrades, so I figured I'd help him out. He doesn't see me, so I'm taking some shots, and I got a few good shots in there, and he's down without even seeing me. That was a pretty good sneak attack, which you don't see often in historic mode. I went to go grab a pretty cool thumbnail here, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but you'll find out when you click on this video, and hopefully it works. Okay, so now I see another plane near the airfield. He doesn't look like he's going for me yet, or he, he does look like he's going for me now, actually. He's going to turn into me. I'm not going to go head on head with him, because I know I'm going to get destroyed by his armaments. Uh, but one thing to know with the LA-7, it's actually very durable, like, very surprisingly durable. I don't know if that's intended or not, but I'm not complaining. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn back into the Falk Wolf here, who actually disconnected. Um, but kill streak's not over yet. We got another Falk Wolf coming back onto us. Uh, he's got some energy, so I gotta be careful with him. I'm gonna go ahead and climb up, and I'm hoping that he's gonna stall out, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna have to start dodging and stuff. And you're gonna see that I'm gonna do these rolls, which kind of makes it hard for him to hit me. And I'm also gonna try to turn back into him. Now, this is a very risky maneuver. I'm gonna try doing vertical loops, and the reason is because I have a feeling that I can uh, do a sustained energy fight longer than he can. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply flaps here, and you're gonna see when I get to the tip of this climb, it's gonna stall me out, and it's gonna help me turn faster. And you can kind of see it kind of work, because I'm actually gaining on him now, and he's not able to outturn me. Plus, he's in the Falk Wolf A4, which doesn't turn that well at all anyways. So now I'm going to climb back up with him, and I have a comrade helping me out right now. But he's not going to be able to do much, because uh, he's going to go ahead and miss. I think he's going to yak or something. Um, but, oh no, he did him a little bit. But anyways, I'm on his 6 now. He's going to try diving away. He's spinning out. Um, I don't care. I think he's 
probably going down. Yeah, he's missing his uh, vertical stabilizer. I'm just going to go ahead and snag the kill, because uh, why not? I couldn't tell if he was legitimately going down or if he was just trying to dodge, but by this time I could tell he was actually going down. He stalled himself out um, without the vertical stabilizer, so that's what got him. All right, I'm pretty sure here's the part where I screw it up. Um, I probably could have kept the streak going a lot longer, but I was pretty low on ammo, and I was just going to fight to the death. Uh, so I'm diving on this guy down low, the Stuka. Should have gone for the escort first. I think I popped a few shots in him. P pulled up right in front of his guns, which wasn't really smart, but I didn't really care. And then I wasn't really paying attention to uh, his escort's energy level at that time. I just didn't think he'd be able to catch up to me, um, which was obviously not the case. He's actually landing a lot of long-range shots. And you'll see that's the same technique I use against LA-7s when I do fight them. Um, looks like I got that Stuka kill somehow. But then someone else spawned out of nowhere, and that's where things got really hairy. I was not ready for that. And now I got him on my ass, and then I got someone down here. I'm about to bleep that out, I forgot. Yeah, YouTube doesn't like that. But anyways, I got shot in the engine, so it's out now. And that was pretty much the end of this run. But it was a pretty good rampage while it lasted. Alright, we're back at it again. I see a few enemies down low. And as you can notice, I'm just diving down on them. I never really engage from a uh, lower altitude level to LA-7. Just because it's that's how you get killed. That's like death 101 right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just stalk him right now. And I see that he's just turning. This would be a tough shot um, if he does do the turn. But he's actually slowing himself down in that like, climb turn. So hopefully I can land these. And it looks like I land a few of them. But he's pretty slow now. So I just have to land these shots. And he's going to start rolling. Which makes it a little difficult to hit him. Um, but yeah, we're just going to pretty much shoot him. That's what, that's what we're doing here. Alright, so we set him on fire. You notice I played with my throttle there to make sure I don't overshoot. That's something Falk was trying to do a lot. This guy's just conveniently climbing in front of me, but I do one of the worst shots in history. Actually, I don't know what happened there. I, I did hit him, but someone rammed him or something, which kind of sucked that I didn't get that kill credit. Went for another thumbnail here. Didn't realize there was a plane on me, so I'm going to go ahead and do a loop just to dodge him because I don't want to get shot. And now he's going to go ahead and dive through. No, he's not. He's actually going to try turning with me, which is completely his fault. You can't blame me for the LA-7 being OP when he's trying to turn with me. Now, I was actually kind of curious if the LA-7 could out-turn planes on the deck, and I'm pretty sure it can, at least with the A-4. With the Falkwolf 190, you got to be really careful, though. If they have an energy advantage, they're going to out-turn you. Um, but this guy, he's just going to try turning, and then he realized that that's not going to work, and he's just going to try dodging now. And by doing those rolls and stuff, he's going to kill a lot of his energy, but I don't know. I just don't think he made up his mind. I think he's just dodging, trying to extend, but he's not going to outrun me. Now, at this point, he's trying to... I don't know. He just opened his belt. I don't know what he's trying to do. Sorry, mate. But uh, he went down, trying to grab another thumbnail. I think I like this one better, so I might go with that. Okay, now I got a 110 on me, but uh, I have a feeling he's not going to be there much longer. So he's shot. I'm going to go ahead and dive into him. Normally, I'd roll back into him, but I don't think I really cared at the moment. I just kind of turned just because I could, and I, it was a safer option. Uh, wasn't really caring how close I got to him at that point. So now he's in front of me. He's going to go ahead and turn back into me for some odd reason. Or maybe he's going for the ground targets. I don't know. Um, but it looks like my comrade sets one of his engines on fire. I figured I'd save some ammo here um, and just let him get the kill. So he goes down in a blazing ball of glory, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, one tens down. And we're on to the next clip. So we got a Falkwolf down low engaging one of our comrades. I'm going to go ahead and dive on him right now. I don't think he's aware of my presence. So hopefully we'll be able to land a shot. Now there's a lot of times... Um, where I've landed some really bad shots, and that was one of them right there. Um, I was pretty ashamed of myself. That could have been a really epic deflection, but I really screwed that up. But if you don't screw those up, you could get yourself some pretty epic kills. So I'm going to go ahead and turn back into him here. Um, but he wants to go, like, head on head. I took the shots anyways, just because I, I felt pretty confident that he wouldn't actually open on, on me. But now he's on my six, so I'm going to do a, uh, a turn fight here, which I don't recommend, but I see the comrades on him. So this would give the comrade a chance to help me out here. And then I figured, okay, maybe I'll just scissor with him um, and just try to get him close and have him overshoot. It wasn't really working out too well, and I'm just a little concerned now because my comrade isn't taking him out. So now I decide to go in vertical loops because I have a feeling I can out-energy him, but I stalled out, got really nervous because I didn't want to get shot, and I'm just absolutely astonished that my yak buddy could not take out the Falkwolf by now. In fact, he even overshoot the Falkwolf somehow. So now I'm on my own. i got a turn fight with this guy. And I don't like doing turn fights, but I I just I just know this thing's going to outturn the ball. I'm just pretty sure it can. I'm going to go ahead and just maintain speed, you know, because I'm pretty sure the Falkwolf's going to bleed it off before me. Even if he somewhat catches up to me, I'm just going to maintain without trying to stall out. You don't pull too hard because then you're going to start tilting and rolling and stuff, whereas the Falkwolf won't. Um, so just maintain your speed. 
and eventually they're going to catch up to him. As you can see, I'm getting closer and closer, and I was hoping that he'd do what he did right here. He's going to go into a scissors, which if you can control the environment, then you can do pretty well. But we actually got a really sick deflection right there, and that sent him down. Okay, that's a really tempting thumbnail as well. Um, so yeah, he's down, and uh, we're going to look for more targets. Okay, so we got two aircraft in front of us. Um, it looks like one of them's a 110, and the other one's, uh, I don't know, really. Um, I guess a Falkwolf, yeah. A4. I'm actually not too scared of the Falkwolf. I'm more scared of the 190s and the A4s, because the, the A4s you can just outturn. Okay, so we landed a lot of good shots on him already as he's gone for our comrade. Um, so he's just easy pickings now. He's pretty much wounded. Um, if this was, like, IL-2 or something, that would have probably ruined him really bad. We could just leave him. Um, but he can fly for a while like that, so we're going to try finishing him off. He's just going to try evading a lot, actually, so he's just killing my ammo. He's maybe hoping some of his comrades will help me, which, uh, yeah, I got shot. Um, but as you can see, my comrade finally did something, took out that 110, and now I'm like, alright, back to business. Let's just kill this Falkwolf. Looked like I wing clipped him there. He's going down. Pretty sick kill, I guess. Um, but now I'm missing my rudder, and I kind of like having my rudder. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and swap sides. Because I know the LA-7 is a little bit OP. If it's used right, it's OP. If it's used wrong, it's just another plane. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and hop into a Falk Wolf 190. I was going to rejoin this game, but I did a really bad job at finding this game again. Um, but it worked out in my favor anyways because uh, I got to face an LA-7 on a one-on-one -on -one dogfight, which worked out perfectly for me. Um, so anyways, I'm going to show some clips of me taking out right at my 16. I mean, it didn't stand a chance. Okay, so this is the first encounter with LA-7. There's going to be two encounters. This time I have the advantage. I have a it's significant altitude advantage. I'm diving on this guy. I don't even think he knows I'm there yet. Um, and it'll probably show me in the camera sometime soon. Even then, he's just going to try outrunning me or anything else. Maybe go for ground targets. I don't know what he's trying to do. But he's not even trying to evade right now. He's going to go ahead and pull up. I'm going to go ahead and pre-lead. And I start landing a million shots on him. He literally just disintegrates. Like, everything just comes off of him. But even then, I'm still surprised he didn't blow up or anything. Like, I'm kind of glad he didn't blow up because that just ruined the fun for me, but, um, yeah, it, the LA-7 has a pretty cool damage model, it's, it's really tanky, and it's gonna really show in this next clip here, so here's the one-on-one -on -one dogfight, he has an altitude advantage, he has a speed advantage, but I'm climbing up to him right now, because I want to face him on his level, he's actually still a little higher than me, uh, but the idea was I was gonna go in a head-on-head -head if I could, I mean, that's what I was actually going for, um, which, you know, I don't necessarily recommend, you don't have to, um, but I was kind of hoping he would, because I know I could take him out on that, I, I feel like I'm a better shot, but he's actually way higher than me, and instead of trying to climb up with him, I'm actually going to let him try diving on me and just rolling out of the way. Um, and this is how you defend B and C, if you want to know. Um, so I'm always going to keep my nose pointed towards him. I don't want him to uh, like just be able to turn onto my uh, 6 o'clock like that. Um, so I'm just going to keep looking at him. And he has. And you're going to notice how much of an altitude advantage he has, or how much of an energy advantage as well. Because uh, I'm not able to really keep up with him at all. He's actually getting further away from me. I'm taking pot shots, hoping to land some. I stole myself out. Uh, but I'm not too nervous yet, you know. I know he has a significant advantage, but as long as I can dodge him and get him into, like, a scissor fight or anything else, even a turn fight I'd be happy with, uh, I know I could probably take him out, especially at these high altitudes. Butchering words here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dive down and try to dodge him. I'm going to try to bring him down more towards my level, because I don't want him up there. As you can see, I'm just rolling here, and now I'm going to go to one of my favorite moves, which is a vertical scissors, I guess. This is what I do in my yak, this is what I do in the German planes. It's just easy, you know, you don't have to worry about stalling yourself out in a flat scissors, you don't have to worry about getting shot, um, and it kind of worked, because now he, he didn't necessarily overshoot, but he didn't go for it, he's trying to run away now, and that's fine with me, because he killed a lot of his altitude doing that, he killed a lot of his speed, and I'm able to kind of, like, catch up and even have the chance of landing some shots, so I'm trying to get these sniper shots off, because I know if I can just hit him a little bit, then things are, will go my way. Now, he's going to try forcing an overshoot, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, that was probably the worst deflection of my history. I, if I've landed that right there, it would have been a it would have been a quick dogfight. But no, I got another I don't know how long this video is, but another how long this video is of dogfighting left to do. I'm pretty pissed at myself right there because that could have been the end of the dogfight. I'm gonna pull a really sick deflection shot there. I don't even know how to describe what I just did there. I basically just killed the throttle and just predicted where he was gonna go, um, and I think that worked. I can't even tell you if I killed my throttle. I don't even know what I did. Um, but he's still going. I mean that deflection shot should have ended him, um, but it didn't. I don't even think it damaged him much to be honest. Um, but yeah, he's way up there again, and I still got a long dogfight ahead of me. So now I'm going to do what I did earlier. I'm just going to try and dodge him here, and I'm going to go vertical if he wants, but I don't think he's going to want to go vertical. Yeah, you can tell he doesn't want to do it again. Uh, he's actually going to maintain his altitude advantage, which is smart on his part. Um, but I'm thinking he's just going to 
I don't know, just stay up there forever. I'm, I'm a little nervous that that's what he's going to do. Uh, but hopefully he's going to come back in. You can see he's on the camera he's going to turn back into me. I know this is on my 6. So I'm going to go ahead and turn into him now. Either we go head on head or he's going to, I don't know what he's going to try doing. Uh, but let's find out. So we're going to go head on head here. But it doesn't look like he wants any of it. I started taking some shots at him. I think maybe one of them landed. A few of them landed there on his engine. Took a little bit off of him. Um, yeah, I didn't do much. I mean, you notice that when I got shot on the head on head, my engine cut out. He just lost part of his elevator. Uh, once I saw that he lost part of his elevator, you can see it in the top right on the on his camera. Um, I knew the dogfight was over for him. I know he didn't have much of a chance. I mean, he could be in Z with me, but it'd be so much harder. If this was realistic mode, he probably would have been done for. And I'm thinking he's just going to run away now. You know, he's got nothing left to fight for. Um, not every dogfight has to land in a victory. You know, just surviving is enough. So I'm thinking he's just going to head home and land. So I figured I was just going to follow him and just shoot him down on the airfield because I want my kill. And show you that the Falk Wolf can take out LA-7s, um, even 109s. I'm just doing it at Falk Wolf just because uh, it just looks cooler. I don't know. I, I like flying it more. I, I honestly don't know. I just, I just like it. Um, so anyways, he's going to go ahead and fly away. But what I think he was doing was... Uh, Try to get some distance. I think he's a little... He's just trying to recoup himself. He just took a big blow. He's trying to figure out what he wants to do. And it looks like he's actually turned back into me here. Now he has a... I mean, he has the same advantage he had before. He's way up higher than me. And I'm still not concerned. You know, I'm cool. I'm collect. And I'm going to go ahead and do what I've been doing, which is just go ahead and nose down and dive. See if I can get him into vertical scissors. If he goes for it, I'll shoot him. If he doesn't, then um, I just wait patiently. Just don't kill your energy too soon. So I'm going to go vertical again. He's going to go for it this time. I'm going to go ahead and turn back up. And uh, he's going to overshoot me here. Now I'm on his 6 o'clock. He's diving down way too much. I don't know if it's because he's missing some of his elevator, but he killed a lot of his altitude. And that's going to give me an opportunity to land some very long-range sniper shots. Now, this is probably not super realistic, but in historic mode, you can definitely do this. And if you want to know why I did this in historic mode, it's because I can't find any realistic games. So sorry about that. So I'm taking these shots here, now if you're a pro, you can you can definitely land some of these. So I landed those shots, and you can see, didn't really do much to him, and that's kind of pissing me off, because uh, you should have, I've shot him a lot already, you know, I'm surprised he hasn't lost anything. And now I'm following him down here, just taking, you know, I'm not trying to waste all my ammo. Uh, it don't look like I land any of these though, but it's definitely putting him on the edge, trying to dodge, which is killing his speed, putting him closer. I'm going to shoot some more. Now I got that red circle telling me where to aim, so I'm pretty sure I can land a few more, which I did. Now I've landed quite a lot, he's lost another piece of his plane, another huge burst there and he's still flying, more bursts and he's still flying, he just lost another piece of his plane, and finally a wing clip. I mean this guy took so much lead, it's unbelievable. But anyways bros, that's how you kill an LA-7 in the Falk Wolf 190. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if this video helped you. But it shows you the LA-7s, I mean, it's OP but it's not, it's still killable. But anyways, until next time broskies, and uh, have a good one.